there, Taurus. How's everyone doing? I hope you've had an awesome week. I am here to do your weekly tarot reading. I'm going to use the Oracle of Visions deck, the Tarot of Dreams tarot deck, and the Rider Waite um, tarot deck for clarification. But let's go ahead and see what energies might be in the room or who you might be dealing with. We got strong Aquarius, some Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, possibly some Taurus and Aries. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. I have pre shuffled all these decks, pre shuffled, cut, and set with intentions for this particular reading. But I will go ahead and do that again. And we will cut the deck and pick two cards from here. Okay. And at the end of the reading, I will go ahead and explain these cards to you. Card 48. This is a beautiful card. Um, a woman with a golden egg, and it looks like some fairies are coming out of it. She's got quite the crown on there with um, some sort of mirrored cabochon or gem or whatever you want to call it. All right. So that's the first card, 48, or if you add that together, it becomes 12 or breaks down to 3, okay? And this card is number 29. This would probably represent temptations um, and things that we should f pay attention to, okay? We'll clarify that more at the end. But it definitely looks like we have the devil, a snake, um... It looks like the Wheel of Fortune down here, too, okay? She's definitely being tempted with some sort of apple there, okay? It doesn't look like he's pulling her, um, like, the, the cloth doesn't look like it's attached to her in any way, but we will have to wait and see. So I'm thinking that the card represents more our own personal entanglements like it does with a devil card. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this deck, and we will go ahead and get started with your story reading. Okay, Five of Wands, you're either learning something new or striving to attain something. That's your overall energy for the week. And while I'm doing this, I'd like to say welcome back to anyone who's a returning viewer. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. Either way, I am grateful for each and every one of you. Look at this. The wheel showed up here. We've got a wheel here. We've got a wheel of fortune here. Man, this is incredible. And... The hanging man is hanging off of the wheel, but there, here's a wheel and another wheel. Incredible. Uh, incredible. For anyone who wants to know, the two of coins is on the bottom of the deck, but it does not affect this reading. So right now, and I am going to clarify with this deck, so I'm just going to go do a basic overall here. Um, the Five of Wands talks about you striving to attain your goals. You, you are working um, to learn how to level up or learning new skills. Um... But you're in the process of striving to get something that you want, okay? And that's your overall weekly um, energy. So this talks about what you're thinking. And your brain is focusing on the betrayals, the backstabs, the hurts, the heartaches. Um, some of you have recently had a major fight with somebody and you are feeling very hurt from that situation. Very sad. You can see the tears here. Um, you, I'm hearing over and over again. I, I never would have thought that of this person. I never would have thought they could do this. And you're hoping for justice because there is, the you know, li this card represents Libra, Libra. Okay. Libra energy, I should say. And Libra stands for justice. So let's see what we have down here. The two of wands. This position talks about what you will get if you continue on this path for this week, okay? And it, what you're going to end up with is a, a choice. You're going to have to make some sort of choice here. And 
there's a choice between hot and cold, uh, um, passionate and walking away, okay? I, I'm, I'll have to clarify to get more information about that. But um, I am getting the sense that you will have to take a different path than what you're on now in order to even make this decision, okay, to figure out what your options are. All right, so we're going to go up here to the Seven of Cups, which talks about having options, okay? You have a lot of choices here. But this is um, basic. I'm sorry. Let's skip back down here. This is your overall um, feeling, your emotional um, foundation of the present circumstances. So, this uh, Okay. Here is the hidden motivation behind this situation. You are focused on your money. Right now, you are currently focused on your money because you have left somebody and you do not want... You want to protect your money. You want to be able to stand strong. You want to continue to build, okay? We'll, we'll clarify this. Okay, now we're going to go over here to Faith, which is actually the Hierophant card. And this talks about um, using your intuition, um, following the law, the rules. The, um, this could be a legal matter. It could be about a marriage, a divorce. Um, that's what this card represents. This position talks about what you deserve, okay, and what you can expect on an emotional level. So we have faith in this particular card for this deck. So I'm hearing a, a renewal of faith, okay? That the wheel has gone around and you want your faith restored. You, you need to have your faith restored in humanity, in people. All right. This card talks about what you are um, telling the world, okay? This is how you present yourself to other peoples and how you're expressing yourself. You're, you're acting confused, like you don't know what to do, what direction to move in, because you have so many choices, so many options before you that you're just confused all the time, okay? You, you need some clarity, and guess what comes in here? Clarity, okay? That's what the Ace of Swords is. It's a fresh new start with revealing the truth. Okay, that's what you need right now. It is absolutely what you need. And for you um, to be happy right now, this right here, what you really need to be happy is for the wheel of fortune, for some luck, okay, is what I'm hearing. You need to have lady luck on your side. And I think it has to do with your money. I, I really am getting a strong sense that... Um, this clarity that you're going to gain. You feel that that clarity that you're going to gain is going to benefit you. It's going to make you, it's going to protect your money. Um, I can't say until we clarify, but I'm not positive that that's what the outcome would be. Okay. And then here is what you're going to end up with, what you expect either in your mind, okay, or your ego, that you are going to have to make sacrifices. You're going to have to sit still for quite a long time. Because um, you know that there's processes in place that take time, okay? Yeah, so there's definitely been some sort of battle here. Hmm. I would have preferred the line where you were striving to attain a new goal. But it looks more like you're striving to maintain or regain your independence. Um, okay, let me go ahead and start clarifying here. We'll start with the Five of Wands. What does the Five of Wands represent for the Taurus Collective? What clarification can we get for the Five of Wands, please? Your independence is gone right now. You don't, you feel like you do not have any independence. Like you can't stand on your own two feet. You're worried about your money. 
um, you're, you're, yeah, that's what you're worried about. Okay. Let's, let's clarify the three of swords. What type of betrayal or who betrayed, um, the Taurus collective here? Can you clarify the three of swords for the Taurus collective, please? Can we get clarification on the three of swords for the Taurus collective? Wouldn't come out of my hand. Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. You, hmm. all right. So what I'm getting here is that you feel like you offered a major solid offer. Um, it was heaven sent. It was solid. Um, But you got cut to the chase, to the quick. You got cut to the quick, okay? Um, somebody took advantage of this, okay? You, you feel like you got cut to the bone is what I'm hearing after making that offer. Um, yeah, you're looking at your life, assessing it, and there's the wheel. That's the world, but it's another wheel, Okay? But you're having to assess your world. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Hmm. Okay, let's get some clarification down here for the Two of Wands. What is this choice that the Taurus Collective is faced with? What is... Can we get clarification on the Two of Wands, please, for the Taurus Collective? The world ups in reverse. All right. This is how you're going to find yourself physically with your world turned upside down if you continue down this path that you're on. Hmm. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups and the Hanging Man again. Sacrifices. Wish. Hmm. Okay. All right. So use caution. Try to change this and keep things as amicable as possible. I think if you start with your energy overall for the week, if you haven't gotten into an argument with somebody, if you haven't reached the point of feeling betrayed, um, take a step back and assess things, okay? All right, let's get some clarification here on the Ten of Coins, please. Clarification on the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. Can you tell us what that means for the Taurus Collective, please? Ah, the sun and the page of swords. Okay. Either you are watching somebody or they are watching you. Okay. They're checking your social media or you're doing that. And since this is your reading, I'm getting the sense that this is more you checking up on your person. Um, you want the sun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want answers. You want answers. You need answers. Okay. Yeah, look, seven of cups, seven of cups. You keep getting repeat messages here, okay? We're clarifying the faith card over here. Well, there's already three cards out. Okay, this one came out first, and it was judgment in reverse, death in reverse, and the six of pentacles which we saw the Six of Pentacles somewhere else, I thought. All right, so as far as how you see things uh, turning out, you don't feel like judgment, uh, like judgment is going to, justice is going to be served, okay? You feel, okay, um, you feel like things have ended and 
just ended, okay, because this came in reverse. There is no fresh beginning. There is no fresh start. Same thing with the judgment. Usually this speaks of, this speaks, of, death card speaks of the ending, but rebirth of something new, okay, like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Tem uh, judgment here is the angels calling these people who are dead, they're in coffins, calling them to heaven, okay, where they will be reborn. So, both of these cards came out in reverse, okay? And without a charitable action on your part or the other person's part, you do not see this ending well. It will be over and over. That's what I'm hearing. Over and over. It's just done, okay? Let's put this back here. Maybe we'll get clarification that somebody will perform an act of charity. All right, let's clarify the seven of cups here. Okay, and how you're portraying yourself to the world. Okay, feeling defensive, like you have to stand your ground. You're confused all the time. You're, you're, I'm hearing you're bitter. But you feel like you have to defend your name, your reputation, everything. Like you feel like everybody's just attacking you. Okay, and that you've got to stand your ground or stand up for yourself because nobody else is listening. Hmm, look at this, two and two. This speaks about choices, okay, and your ability to be able to restore balance. I'm hearing... You um you have the medicine. You you have what it takes to soothe me. You are my balm. So that's I feel like that's two different messages um coming through here. Yeah, I, I'm getting this message from your person. So some of your people do want to try to repair it. They just don't know how. They don't know what to do. But they want to go back into um, a less stressful, more peaceful um, place with you. Yeah, they're having a lot of sleepless nights. But there is a victory here, okay? There is a possibility that you can restore this situation okay maybe if you took a if if you can prevent this from happening that would be the best i will ask a specific question at the end of this if i if i remember actually i'm going to ask it right now what can taurus do what can you tell us that taurus might do to change this outcome think about your goals think about what it is you truly want OK, do you want to stay in this relationship and try to give it another shot and be happy home, happy life again? Because I do see that for some of you, if you refocus your energies on how long you've been together, where you've been, um, how happy you have been together, maybe you can work past whatever this situation is. OK, that's not for everybody. And it's going to de depend on what the betrayal was or heartbreak that was caused. Okay, some of you was a very severe betrayal, cheating, worse. But others, I feel it, it's not that, it's still a betrayal to you. This person should not have done what they did, but it's more like uh, talk about you behind your back. Um. Yeah, that's like what I'm getting. They said something behind your back that was hurtful, like... Why would you do that? I thought you loved me. You know, that's what I'm getting from this. Okay, okay. That's not so bad. So some of you can repair this, and I do see your person. Look at that, the lovers. <laughs> that talks about those that want to repair it. You might need to take a little break from each other, okay? Step away from it, the situation. Rest, sleep on it is what I'm hearing. Don't make a rash, rash decision. Um... And this talks about choices too, okay? So restoring balance. There's two people here 
the heavens are saying you can work this out, okay? Just consider what it is you really want. There's the Empress. Oh, I thought, I thought that was the Emperor Ant. Nope, there's the Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress. And you know what's standing between them being together? Feeling like a wounded warrior. Feeling like I can't take one more battle. Okay? I cannot take one more argument. So think about what it is you want. Get the clarity that you need. Speak your truth. Okay? And then make a decision and move forward. I think there will be healing. It's going to take some strength. But I think that if you want this, Taurus, if you want to repair this situation, I think it's more than possible to restore this. Okay? For others of you, you're just very tired of defending yourself and you're not going to do this anymore. Okay? I mean, this is a collective reading. If it was just a one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to... Uh, give you more clarity. Of course, with Terry, you're always, it's always a choice on which direction you go. Nothing is set in stone with Tarot. It's meant to be a guiding force, okay? All right, let's clarify the Ace of Swords here. Ha, ha, ha. Clarify the Sword of Truth. <laughs> let's clear the air. <laughs> Can we get clarification on the Ace of Swords? Okay, I'm not as funny as I'm pretending I am. <laughs> okay, there is... Okay, and this is the way they came out. The Emperor, okay. A Tower Moment, Communication, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, we've got a couple of queens here, but what I'm hearing is there is going to be a realization. Okay, something shocked, rocked the house, okay? Brought the house down. However, an epiphany, a realization of something, a clarity about something, which is what this is here, okay? This talks about our ego, how these people built this huge tower. They just kept going higher and higher, further and further away from the people that were down here, thinking that they were better than everyone else. Their ego got to them, okay? And they were struck by lightning, an epiphany, and it caused their world to fall apart. And I'm that's exactly what I'm feeling here. Okay? That there was a betrayal. But now, this epiphany coming in in this position is telling me that all of a sudden there's going to be an aha moment. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly what I want. I'm standing up for what's right. I'm going to communicate. And there's the Queen of Pentacles, your opposite your your person whoever this is you're dealing with whether you're the female or male and this is female or male it's the energies okay your person's going to come back deferring to her emperor in the fact that she feels guilt over what she has done she is not deferring and bowing down she is um she's the one sending the communication okay that is going to cause you to have an, um, an epiphany and you will realize that you really do truly love this person. Okay. So here I'm going to leave it with a communication coming. You got communication coming in from your person. That's going to create the clarity that you need the epiphany. Okay. Here's the wheel of fortune. Let's clarify the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you've had to stand strong. You've, this has been a very rough situation. Many sleepless nights. Um, but you're showing compassion here. Okay? A little bit of luck on your side. That you can have the, str that you have the strength within you to be compassionate. And, yeah. Okay. I mean, you've shown up strong here as kings, emperor, and that doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? It does not matter. Okay, so let's clarify the hanging man energy here. Okay, this is what you're expecting. I thought a card flipped. I don't see one anywhere. Oh, it did. Okay. All right, you're wa you want to walk away from things that just don't serve you anymore, okay? Okay. Um, and what I'm hearing is this is your subconscious mind. 
and what you expect out of the future at this moment, okay? And you probably are feeling exactly like that, okay? Um, because of the hurt. So this would be what you would expect to be the outcome of this week with the way things have gone here, the way this story is being laid out, okay? But keep in mind, you you can restore the situation. You can communicate with your person. You can remember why you are with this person. Look who showed up again. The lovers and needing a break, okay? There was some sort of deception. There was something sneaky that happened. But I think if you just take a step back and let the information come to you, okay, that's what the hermit does is he... he takes information in away from the situation so he takes himself out of the situation he takes in information processes it and then comes back with look at this a bright idea with clarity okay he knows how to light his path he knows which direction to go in now all right and at this moment the, that hermit is feeling very inspired okay and look at that. Lovers and the Two of Cups. Okay. All right. All right. My, uh, oh, I should have left that there, but I've, oh, I felt like I just had to ask one more question. Your hard work will pay off. Okay. And that message will be coming in quickly. Quickly. So I think if you take a little bit of time and think, listen to the person first. Listen to your person. Hear them out. And use your strength here because this night coming in can tend to like jar the person that receives the message. It's not always delivered properly is what I'm hearing. Um, and it's usually based because the person is going strictly by their emotions or like they're terrified that if they don't do this, they won't say what they have to say. So it doesn't always come out right. Okay, so just use some compassion and your own strength to hear this person out. And I think your work will pay off. Your hard work will pay off. All right, let's see what card 48 speaks of. This is the first time this card has come out, I believe. Sorry, I'm having trouble breathing right now. Choices, risks, and consequences. I'm going to read you a quote, and it, the author is unknown. Men anger the gods with their pride, and in order to punish them, the gods looked on as Pandora opened her box, letting chaos loose. Yeah, what I'm hearing here huh, is that you really should, I think that's what happened, is this person said something that they shouldn't have said, and it's very hurtful. You can't understand why they said what they said. And it opened up this whole Pandora's box. You guys need to put the lid back on this pretty quick. Put the lid on this and stop this, okay? Cut it off immediately. Communicate with each other and end that. Card 29, which is 11, okay? So we have 11 and 12 here, too. Actually, this is 12, 11. So I'm going to say there is a limited amount of time before you can't put, pan, uh, you know, you can't put the chaos back in the box. If you let it simmer too long, you're, you're going to have problems. It's not going to be reparable. Okay. Card 29. All right. This one talks about temptation, resisting, and willpower. Mark Twain said, there is a charm about the forbidden that makes it unspeakably desirable. <sighs> and we're talking about somebody saying something. Okay. And that's what it was. Um, maybe, oh boy, what I'm hearing is somebody made a comment about a another person that they're interested in or they made a statement that implied that they would entertain this other person and that was and, and this is not like a celebrity you know like oh hey i'd love it if johnny depp came and 
kissed me on the cheek. No, this is uh, like somebody you know. So, forgive this person. We all say stupid things. There may have been alcohol involved in this, okay? Yeah, I don't see that your person really, really wanted... Um, they weren't trying to cause you harm. It was a stupid statement, and that's what your person really wants you to understand. It was a stupid statement. They would never act. They would never act. That's what they're trying to say. They would never act upon that. That was just a stupid statement. All right, my Taurus Collective, here's your message for the week. Um <laughs> Don't give it a thumbs up, please. Don't give it a thumbs up. It's a horrible week for you guys. Tough one to get through. You can prevent it from happening, though. Keep that in mind, okay? You can prevent this from happening. We all have choices as we see things happening. Maybe you're at a party with your person and you see that they're having a little too much to drink. Maybe it's time to say, come on, let's go. Okay, prevent it that way. Or if they do make this stupid statement, understand. Use your strength and your compassion. Don't get argumentative and just say, you know what? That was a stupid comment and move forward. Just let it go and all of this can change, okay? All of this can just stop right there. All right, guys, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness.